Hello, policeman Peter. Hi, <laughs> right, Constable Ken. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome to your minutes of mystery. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, today I'm gonna fire a riddle, Constable Ken. But this is not just any riddle. No, this is a real life scenario. But today, Constable Ken, normally I tell you stories of my life and my intrepid journeys, but today it is of a detective friend of mine. Yes, and this detective friend of mine, before he'd become a detective, he used to run a casino. In fact, more than that, he'd worked in the criminal underworld and he'd moved into the police force because of making some deal and something and something. It's, com it's complicated. It's tough. It's complicated world. <laughs> but the point is, he used to run a casino. Okay. This casino used to do wonderfully. It was amazing. But Monday night was the one night the casino would close. All right. And on this night, he used to invite his friends other criminals, all right? We're talking the worst of the worst criminals in the criminal underworld. We're talking the darkest fiends you have ever heard or seen in your life. Yes. And they would all meet and play poker <laughs> at the casino. And on this specific Monday, all right, there was a storm brewing. In fact, more than brewing, there was a storm and it was coming down. Thunder, rain, everything. Constant <laughs> can okay. all right? And they're all playing poker. <laughs> Are you with me? Okay, right. right. I think so. Um, you're, you're doing great. Time. Yes. Okay. All right. They're all playing poker. He's sitting there. Casino owner. Everyone's sitting around. They're enjoying themselves. They get into the climax of the poker game. Someone goes all in. Another person goes all in. All the pot is huge. All right. Okay. And then, Constable Ken. Bah! Thunder, the lights go out. Okay. Okay, lights go out. Not a problem, it's a casino. Ha! They have a backup generator. Five seconds later, doof, the lights come back on. But, Constable Ken, all the money is gone. The money in the middle is all gone. Okay. All right, casino owner says, who did this? Now you're looking at the toughest, the darkest, the most dangerous criminals in the city. None of them are going to be like, no, oh, just me. sorry about that. None of them. He says, not a problem. The casino owner says, it's not a problem at all. He's going to do the old rooster test. Okay. Yes. He's the rooster test. The rooster test. Yes. So what happens with the rooster test is he would get an old rusty pot, a big one, put it on the table. All right. Okay. And he would take this rooster, famous rooster, very okay. famous. Okay. Friend of his, apparently. <laughs> okay. And he'll put it in the pot. Yes. All right. And then he says, there's no judgment here. Among criminals, we are all criminals. There is no judgment. He turned off the lights and he says, we're all going to get in a line and we're going to touch the pot. But this rooster crows when the robber would touch the pot. Okay. All right. It's a magical rooster. This is okay. why it's so obviously a close friend. Okay. So whenever the idea is, whenever the robber touches this pot, all right, the rooster's gonna cock a doodle doo. Okay. That, that's the sound that the rooster makes. Not <laughs> 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 Okay. And so then he says, there's no judgment here among criminals. All right, we're all criminals. We do criminal activities. He's gonna turn off the lights. He turns off the lights, they line up. All right. And then they all go and they touch this pot one after another. Okay. Turns the lights back on. Okay. All right. But the rooster doesn't crow. The rooster hasn't crowed for anyone. Okay. So suddenly this casino boss, he pulls out his gun, he says, put your hands up. He tells all of them, put your hands up. All right. He's not having this in his casino. All right. No matter what night, even though it's a Monday night. And that's when, right then, he knew who stole the cash. Okay. So my question to you, Constable Ken, is how did this guy know who did it? Hmm, <laughs> I was I was really worried about this one because this story was involved. <laughs> the story was involved. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think um, the story was involved, but um, but at the end, uh, I think I nailed it. And in fact, I think I nailed it in the dying seconds, Policeman Peter. Really? In that story. Yeah, I think I nailed it in the dying seconds. Yeah. Uh, He walks down the line, 
Yes. And everybody's holding up their hands. Yes. Right? And they're yeah. standing there. And then he walks back down the line and he like kind of stops in front of the like one dude and he's like It was you. Yeah. You are the one. <laughs> you How are did the you one get his accent? How did you know his accent? You stole the money. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know, uh, the, the rooster told me. The rooster whispered, he was like, it was the guy with the, who said it, it was you, you stole that. The guy standing there with his hands up, he's like, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. Yes, right? yes, yes. And the guy, you know, he knew it was him, because everybody else had like soots on their hands or shoe polish on their hands or something. Okay. And, and this guy, he's standing there with his hands up and he didn't have anything on his hands because he didn't touch the pot. The trick is that you cover the pots with either ash from the fire or yes. shoe polish or something. Yes. If you just look down the line, like everybody's hands are, have got yes, like ash yes, or something yes, on. Yes. Um, well, except yeah. for this one, dude. What? Yeah? It's right. It's right. Yes. <laughs> it's yes. a rusty. So I said a rusty old pot. Remember, he said it's a rusty old pot. Okay. He looked at all the hands that had that like that red dust from the okay. rust on them. Okay. And he'd seen the one hands, yeah. the one pair of hands that were clean. Okay. And he said, it's you, you fiendish villain. Yes. I don't know if you used those words exactly, but it would have been nice if you did, you know. Good, yeah. So, so, so you I, I, I didn't remember the rusty, yes. the rusty pot. I didn't remember that. Yes. But I figured like the pot had to be the, had to be like a trick pot. Somehow. Yes. Oh, you didn't think it was a trick rooster, hey? <laughs> that was magical, my thought. Magical <laughs> crowing roosters. I thought, it, you know, it's probably that's a, like a red herring. It's <laughs> probably not yeah. that. All right, yeah. good. Well, wonderful. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys managed to crack this case and solve this minute of mystery. Yes. And if you didn't, I hope you had some fun and we will see you next crime.